Hello everybody, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Verve Therapeutics, a new company on the block using base editing technology from Bean Therapeutics. And they have gone public as of yesterday. They have hit the public markets. I want to talk about it. I want to explore what they do, why they are important in this field. Now, before we do that, guys, before we talk about this company, please like this video, smash that like button. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please consider doing so. It really helps this channel. Hit that notification bell for our videos to get you faster through the notification. So thank you very much for the support, guys. Let's keep the momentum going. So guys, this was announced literally yesterday, June 16, a Verve Therapeutics announces pricing of IPO, right? So they are going to the public market. So previously they were in the private markets. And actually what's really interesting about this company is last year, I believe it was last year, Google Ventures, Google Ventures. So Alphabet is obviously the holding company that owns Google, YouTube, and other companies and Google Venture is part of it. And Google Ventures is basically an investment group that is led by several individuals that go on private markets and invest in private companies, right? So that's what we call Google Ventures. And Google Venture actually invested in this company last year in the early round. So this is fairly a new company in the space, you know, in the gene editing space. What this company did is that they went on to get licensing from Beam Therapeutics to to commit to base editing, right? So we'll take a look at that just shortly, but just know that it has hit the public markets. Uh, it's worth about $1.5 billion. To me, I find that quite interesting for a company that doesn't actually have any clinical trials going, um, but they are planning to uh, file for IND. So let's take a look at perhaps their website. I think that's a great place to start. Um, and what this company does. So obviously in the CRISPR, it's a CRISPR company, uses a base editing technology, which Beam Therapeutics uses. And what's interesting, like I said, is that they have gotten licensing from Beam Therapeutics because Beam Therapeutics owns some part of licensing when it comes to base editing. Now, one of the reasons why Beam, one of the reason why Beam actually allowed this licensing to occur is because they believe that this company is better suited to attack cardiovascular diseases. And that's exactly what their first program in their pipeline of this company is about, right? Verve 101, it's about hitting, hitting hypercholesterolemia. And that is basically, you know, heart attack, heart diseases, everything with heart issues, everything with cardiovascular diseases, this company wants to tackle and they're doing it with this first program. And what this first program does actually is that it's going to lower, it's going to lower a, a protein called PCSK9. And really the relationship, if you want to go in the, you know, layman term is the more you have of this protein of PCSK9, the more you have this protein, the more likely you will have LDL cholesterol, which is basically bad cholesterol, right? So if you have more of that protein that we just talked about, you have more bad cholesterol. And what is going on is that, and this is, has been tested by this company through several monkeys, uh, so no human uh, clinical trials yet, and that's the whole point of the whole IND filings. But really, they've seen a reduction in bad cholesterol when they are able to lower the PCSK9 protein. So a reduction of this protein lowers the LDL cholesterol, which is basically bad cholesterol, right? And this is really a high level of what's going on here, guys. It's when you have a, maybe some a visualization will explain it better than what I'm saying here. But basically... Um, if you have bad cholesterol, you can see these uh, these clogged arteries. Arteries, obviously, where your blood cells flow, and basically, this is how you get heart diseases, heart issues, heart attacks, and so on. And if you're able to deliver a specific gr uh, guide RNA, and with it, with a, along with a mRNA, to basically modify that PCSK9 protein so that you can lower its count in your liver cells, then essentially what you can have is a, a lower volume of LDL 
cholesterol, which eventually means that your arteries are no longer clogged. Obviously, you can see that from this, uh, from this picture to this picture, right? And that's because they targeted that gene to lower uh, that PCSK9 gene to be um, turned to turn off, right, in some of these cells. And that's exactly what they're showing here. And uh, obviously, it's do they're doing it through the guide RNA with along with the mRNA here. So obviously, a lot of you are aware of mRNA, the whole pandemic vaccine. We've I'm sure you you haven't missed that in the news. So you can see here in the preclinical trial, again, these are monkeys. Take it for what it's worth, but these are significant results, right? You can clearly see that when you decrease almost 90% of that protein that we talked about, you can decrease substantially by 60% your bad cholesterol, right? So this is significant, right? You want to lower that bad cholesterol, right? You want to lower that count so you can free up your arteries and therefore avoid cholesterol, uh, sorry, cardiovascular diseases. And I just want a quick note here, this program here that they're tackling, this, this is for obviously for individuals with genetics that allow a higher volume, a higher count of LDL. Okay, so... All of us, obviously, genetics matter, and some people are more prone to getting cardiovascular diseases because of how their genetics are, right? And part of that genetics is having a high count of that protein, right? And that's part of your genetics, right? So if you can tackle that for those high-risk individuals, if you can tackle that, and again, I think they put a number here. Uh, I think they did, oh yeah, here over here. They put over 1.3 million in the U.S., right, that have this genetic disease, right, and 31 million people around the world, guys. So let's step back for a second. Let's just talk about the numbers here. You know, what is the price that you can assign to a company that can tackle cardiovascular diseases for uh, individual with lifelong uh, potential risk to have these cardiovascular diseases, right? And these are heart attacks. These are heart diseases. I mean, I don't have to explain to you guys how serious that is. I think we are we are all on the same page here. I'm sure some of you have lost uh, family members or friends or uh, people that you know because of cardiovascular disease. So this is extremely serious. And the fact that this company is tackling specifically cardiovascular disease is quite interesting. That's most likely and probably the only reason why Beam Therapeutics licensed their technology. I also wanted to mention really quickly uh, this is a video from uh, Dr. Dean, a great YouTuber uh, that talks about genomics, gene editing, just genomics in general. Uh, he basically talked about, obviously, this company going public. And you can see the title, we're partnering up with Google. That's why we mentioned Google Ventures investing in this company early on, early in the early rounds of investments. But basically, uh, he pointed out that once the phase one trials are completed, Beam Therapeutics can participate in future development and commercialization and share 50% of profits and losses for any product directed against those targets. They will also collaborate on delivery technologies, right? So Beam Therapeutics is not just licensing that technology to Verve Therapeutics, but they're also having a stake in the future if this goes uh, success, if this has success, if this is potentially uh, goes through the phase one trial, eventually phase two trial, Bean Therapeutics can participate and can even share profits, right? future profits, which is absolutely amazing. That's what you want to see in this space. I always talk about partnerships, how important it is for these companies to partner up. You see these new players coming in this field and it makes sense, right? Costs are lowering, right? Costs are lowering. The barriers of entry are lowering, right? Delays are lowering with big data, with artificial intelligence. Uh, Dr. Sam mentioned this because of the whole pandemic. Meetings are done through virtual, obviously through Zoom, through Teams, and that has increased, increased productivity, increased efficiency, reduced delays, right? And then with big data, with AI, you will see more companies really being in a position to really tackle some of these diseases. Cardiovascular disease is a huge, huge task, guys. We need more companies to do this. This Verve Therapeutic is just uh, one of the first companies to do it, but that doesn't mean they have to be the last one, right? So I really am bullish about this. I really love how what's going on in this space right now. Again, this company here is for real. They have gotten licensing from Beam Therapeutics for base editing. They are tackling um, 
the the issue with LDL and by lowering that specific protein, they can hopefully lower the count of bad cholesterol in the liver cell and the blood cells of individuals with high risk of cardiovascular diseases, such as what Verve 101, the program is trying to tackle. So quite interesting, highly advise you guys to look into it. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. That's what we do. We want to cover some of these companies for you guys to sort of be equipped with information, with knowledge. You want to know what's going on in the space. Again, we went a little bit technical in today's video, but I think it's extremely important um, to understand to how this company differs from the other companies such as CRISPR Therapeutics, Antelia, Editas, and even Beam Therapeutics themselves, right? Even though they use the same technology, you want to be in a position to understand why Beam Therapeutics will be willing to give up some of its uh, technology as, as part of licensing, right? It makes sense, right? Future profits. And obviously, this company is suited better to tackle cardiovascular diseases because their leadership has a lot more experience with that diseases. Again, 1,500 diseases for single gene diseases, guys. These are many diseases that a single company will not be able to tackle even a fraction of it. So we need more players in this space. There will be more winners. We believe strongly that this company may be a strong, strong winner in this space. Uh, again, data has to be positive. They have to go through all the steps, right, to go through in-filing. IND filing is just the beginning, right? Phase one trial, phase two trial. Uh, maintain that positive data have those discussions with the FDA approval. Again, this is going to take years, guys. So don't expect anything by 2021. Don't expect any product by 2022 from this company, but expect things to go forward in the following years. Again, everything, all eyes on CTX001 from CRISPR Therapeutics, but keep an eye on the other players in this space. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see each other in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.